Hold, please. Okay. So, what the hell are we talking about today, Zeus? What the hell is the Mio and the Metrum and the Metrum Mio Flint Metrum? I've got a bunch of random things floating around that I, I'm like, I gotta combine them. I don't feel like this deserves its own review. I don't feel like this deserves its own review. But they have almost identical finishes. And that's good enough for me. And actually they're both DACs. Well, that's a DAC headphone amp and that's just a straight up DAC. Aluminum blocks. Like, this is made in the Netherlands. And it's the Metrum Acoustics Flint, and it's their, it's their baby. It's the baby one. It's the $500, or roughly $500, baby deck. Isn't it cute? And um, I think someone sent it to me, and they were like, all right, why don't you stop fucking around with DACs and let this one blow your mind? No. So, let's, uh, where are you? That's the, that's the, that's the Mio. And that's the Flint. So there's the Flint. The Flint is $454, excluding VAT. Which is not cheap. And then the fucking Mio is $250. So about half the price. Oh, and by the way, here's other Metrum things on Amazon. $2,300, dollars $1,900, $2,700, $3,500. There's some expensive... Expensive fucking stuff. And they're all digital to analog converters. Or a uh, high res streaming endpoint bridge. Or a Onyx balanced over non oversampling DAC with remote. What? Okay. 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 Can, can I finish? Can I finish? Let's get the Metrum out of the way, honestly. Because here's the thing it showed up. It's the Flint. It's got. Actually only fiber optic and coaxial digital inputs which is perfect for me i'm a fiber optic freak right don't don't, don't put that usb stuff near me which is uh. so fiber optic in power in it's just a figure eight uh plug there's your outputs you get one button there's no power on off that one button lets you choose between optical and coaxial optical is there the blue light is on Hit coaxial, blue light is on there, and it says error. The error light is lit up because there's no coaxial. So it's, that's error, but about to optical. The end. We have completed the review of the Metrum Acoustics Flint. Right? It's a beautiful case. It, it really, it's actually, no, you know what? Do you see these scuffs on this? Like, I have to keep wiping them off with a rag. Because the actual case material is so rough. It's like a pumice stone. If you ever held a pumice stone for like rubbing the bottoms of your feet, that's what this feels like. And it's got all these like, I don't know, like imperfections it picks up on it. And I'm like, I'm like, ugh. But, you know, what am I going to say? It's a fucking, it's a box that's a DAC. So, how am I testing this? Or what am I doing to compare? And fiber optic into this. RCA out into one of the 789s, into the secondary input. The other 789 is hooked up to the much cheaper Gashali Labs Enoch 2. Now it's hooked up balanced because I, the actual RCAs come out over here and they're used that way. But that means if I get the volume knobs correct and I set it up correctly, I can take a headphone like this this shitty pair of headphones, you know, these um, ZMF Aeolus, whatever that's supposed to mean. And I can just go, I want to hear the Metrum. And now I want to hear the Shelly Labs. Hmm. Next, next. One more, one more skip. God, it's lagging. My network's gotta be killing itself. Actually, I'm gonna lower that a little bit.
Now I've sat here for, well, I've, I used this on its own a couple times. And I'm like, oh, it sounds good. So now I'm sitting here analyzing, analyzing even. And I have to go back and forth. And I honestly cannot tell an audible difference using identical 789 amps. So I have two of them here, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I have two of them. That's $300 each. And they're THX Amazeballs amps. So they're just, they're better than everything that's ever existed. And going back and forth and just with Aeolus, uh, the 660s, I had the, um, what other headphones did I have out here before when I was, I tested it a while back. You're new, brand new, wasn't you? Was it the Alaris? Something, whatever. The point is, since I'm using the same amps, and since I'm using two different sources, and I'm trying to compare a DAC to a DAC, all I could do is listen, and then go, okay, okay, I can't hear a difference. So... Am I bad? Does that make me a baddie? I'm sure someone will say so in the description or in the comments under the description. The description will have that adorable wallpaper. So yeah, I'm. it's a good DAC. Uh, look, I think the Gashali Lab is a fucking great DAC. It's under $200 and it's got balanced outputs and, you know, three levels of voltage output and all that other great stuff. And this is two and a half times the price and has a button. So, I mean, but it's made in the Netherlands. So it's the American made or Netherlands made. I'm sure this has amazing stuff in it. I just can't personally, as a man or human, hear the difference between A and B. It's a little, oh, it's fading out. That's why I'm losing my mind. Yeah, nope, can't hear it. So, that is the review of the Metrum. Now, we're gonna wake my computer up a fucking third time, and we're gonna talk about the Mio. But the Mio is interesting. The Mio is actually out here on Mass Drop. If I could, yeah, no, that's not it. That's it. And I requested it to drop again, because only 60 were sold. And if you scroll down, like, I can't find much about this thing like, okay, how much does it cost? Uh, 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 between two and 300. Okay, that means 250. And it's got really good numbers, like as far, it's got low power, but what do you expect for like the size of it? And it's USB powered. But I mean, the, the numbers about like how the DAC performs are really high end. You, did you see that? Hold on, can we, ow. You know, the, it's got, let me, let's get to the, let's get to the, the crux of the situation. It's 122 degrees Fahrenheit right now, or 49.8 Celsius. All right, it's just sitting here. All right, where's the, the thing? It's just, just 122.1. You know, it's 50 C, 120. You know what that is? That's fucking hot. And you know what? It's not broken because if you open up the Mio packaging, it says, "Welcome to Mio. The difference is obvious." And then in red letters, Mio runs at high temperature for optimal performance. Fuck you. Mia runs at high temperature for optimal performance. This thing is, it's fucking hot. Like hot, like holy shit, hot. Like I have to pick it up. It's like, is it gonna melt the solder joints in my, in my thing? Now, if I leave this alone for long enough, you'll see that it's doing an amazing, like peep show of LED. LED goodness, how do I even, oh yeah, the green. So it's got, 12 LEDs on top, all RGB, and they're all, they do, like right now there's nothing playing. Right now it's got this USB cable, which actually me unplug it to show you, because it's one of the nicer things that has the unit. So it comes with this cable, and it's a very, very long USB mini here, and it has to be because that shit is fucking recessed past a lot. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to get it to use, to use it with another cable, because that is an exceptionally long tip on this giggity. You can see it plugs almost all the way in. And then on the other side, it does this, which is very cool. It's just an exposed USB single slot, like I made of plastic. They sh I would buy all sorts of cables with this. 
Because it doesn't matter which direction you plug it in. You just plug it in. You just plug it in. You just plug that in. The, uh, the actual unit itself, which is what I look at, it's got one screw and then four feet. I'm sure there's screws in there, all of them. There are two... This is a very hard review to do because this is a 120 degree block of metal. Ow! Like fucking... Ow. I'm fine. This is a fine. It's a fine review. I was a little tired before I started, but I'm good now. We just gonna throw this in a nice fucking bucket. I'm gonna plug this back in. Clear this error. And the reason I have the mouse pad down is because if I expose that, it just kills the brightness of the camera because... What do you mean you're setting up the Fio? I had you, the Mio. I already had you set. Oh, did it break it? It better not have broken it. Play music, you bastard. Ah. Oh. Oh, you fucking bitch. Alright. <clears throat> Plug you into the other USB jack now. It should just automatically go back to where it was. Yeah, fuck you. So, you get six times two LEDs. And you can't, like, there's no app to control this. I'm, I'm touching it now, and it hurts. But I'm doing it for you guys. Huh. And you can see there's it's just a blue VU meter and there's no volume control on it. It's a DAC and an amp. So headphone outputs are this side. These are two identical headphone outputs and you can see that they're glowing red on the inside because they're two identical fiber optic outputs as well, which is a little bit weird. Neither one of those is an input. They're both outputs. And then this side is an input, which I'm going to plug this in in a second and demonstrate that okay stakes coming back um so i could plug the headphones in to either one of those ports and my 660s will sing now no volume control which means i have to control the output of foobar or windows and as you raise the volume there the the meters go up Next track. Oof. I'm fucking it up bad. Hold on. Scrooge OST is just hammering me right now. So, oh, and I paused it. I actually paused there. That's, oh, doing green. It does like these color sweeps. It, look, if I can convince Gashelli Labs to install something like that in his amps and DAX, that's all people will buy because it looks cool as hell. Now, the, the selling point of this Mio DAC is it's clean as fuck, and it is. I mean, I put a couple headphones on it, specifically the 660s now for the final listen, because I, I trust them to tell me if something's wrong, and there's nothing wrong. It's kind of like the Dragonfly Red. It's like that sort of level, only instead of being small and efficient, it'll burn a hole in your whatever. Because it's running off of USB right now. It's not battery powered, it's just its own thing. It's own extremely fucking hot thing. If I covered this with this rag, and we went away for 20 minutes and had something to drink, it's not even going to be playing anything. We'd come back and that'd be 140 degrees easy. So, USB's hooked up. It's a 24-bit, 192. You play whatever music you want. That isn't bad music. DJ Shadow... Dragon Tattoo soundtrack, Metallica, the Chappie soundtrack, Cake, Soundgarden, The Beatles, Epic Score, Michael Jackson, You Are Not Alone. If I knew what the next track was, I could hit it. Boom, perfect. It's, it's a really nice view. If I unplug the headphone and I, I push the volume up, the top will turn red if it clips, which it's not going to on Michael Jackson. But it's it. I've seen it do it because I had some crazy ass music on there, and I was just like, ah, no. Let's lower that back to like tolerable levels, which is like negative 18 dB, is perfectly fine for this. And it is clean. And it is it is clean. Like it is fucking clean. It is quality and clean. I don't even know what to compare it against other than the Dragonfly Red. 
because of its form factor, it sort of begs for that comparison. But now let's say you want to use the analog input. Well, then you unplug it. You plug in the source that's playing. That's playing Bach. Now you give it back power, and you don't have to be a computer, it could just be a battery pack. Ow! Ow! Alright. I'm using the um, Gishai Labs volume subtractor to lower the volume, or otherwise gotta lower the volume there. And now it's a different pattern. Let's get to a different song. It's a VU from the center out. Green on one side, blue on the other. Right, let's lower the volume here. Put this back up to full voltage. It's still going to be 122 degrees Fahrenheit, by the way, when this plays. And it sounds not quite as good through the analog input. It, with its own built-in DAC, it sounds better than this. And I know that's a high-end DAC, because I can compare it directly to this $500 DAC, and it sounds fucking great. So, I think just the... It, it's doing some... I wonder if it's digital amplification. It can't be. Um, also, I'd like to note, if you're doing it like this, where you have an analog input and a digital connection, if you were to start playing Muzak again here... Now this takes back over. So now, ACDC Who Made Who stopped playing, and Mech Warriors started playing. So now it's back to the other display. So interesting. Here's the thing. It's interesting. It's interesting. It's in tra a sting. But holy fuck. That that problem, that problem there. Oh, it's down to 109 now. Excellent, because I've been waving it around in my hands. But it's it's the fact that it gets so fucking hot. It's just like a big no no. Like, yeah, look. I understand, like, you want people to carry it around with their laptops, but holy shit, fucking kill me. So, I mean, 250 is a lot of, an, a lot of ask for this, because you could just get a Dragonfly Red, or, you, you know, any number of other small, Fio Q1 Mark II, which is balanced also. The fact that this does fiber optic output twice and can support two headphones at the same time, two headphones at the same time is nice. Most other things, in fact, pretty much all other things, tell you do not try to plug two headphones in at the same time because you get random impedance matching issues and then there's no volume control, so you have one's gonna be louder than the other. This says plug in two headphones, it's fine. It also says plug in two fiber optic things, which is, again, weird because it's gonna run hot as fuck and then have two fiber optic outputs, so why is it even bothering? So you see a little bit why I combine these two. This is is good. It's a good DAC. Is it worth five hundred dollars? Eh. I think DACs in twenty nineteen have really well twenty eighteen to twenty nineteen. Most hundred dollar, hundred and fifty, two hundred dollar DACs have like stepped up their game enough that older five hundred dollar designs are just gonna be like do the, the the hand motion. That's what I'm saying. And then this thing, very cool for the LEDs. The VU on it is just, it's just scanning back and forth. I pause the music. Let's see. I need to learn how to, how to, I need to get the goddamn remote control working. Led Zeppelin. Tool stink fest, yes. Wait for it. Hope this is in view. I love a good VU. That's why I got these up here. I love a good VU. I wonder if that's going to get pulled off of YouTube because I let it.
play static in the background. I don't think the LEDs sell it. I think the heat is a fucking huge detriment. Even if it says in the box that it's there. Did you understand? It runs at high temperature for optimal performance. My car gets an average of 15 miles per gallon for optimal performance, which is actually true because giant V8. But, but this is running hot as fuck. And I don't know why, because Dragonfly Red doesn't have to do it. Portable little, little THX players don't have to do it. Every portable player. Why are you so hot? What are you doing differently that's so fucking hot? Even the reference, which was was the pizza oven, um, came back from Italy and only gets about 100 degrees on top. You're 20 degrees hotter than the reference amp. And that thing was a, was a pizza oven. So, why, Mio? Why? Why you do? It's very clean. It's very nice. I wouldn't put it like leaps and... It's another one of those, oh, this is leaps and bounds above things. It's not. And this is leaps and bounds above things. And it's not. They both have their little quirks. I'd like to see this come back. Did it melt to my fucking thing? I thought it would melt to the actual... That's bad, scary, bad news bears. Here, unplug you. You're done. Ultimate headphone cable. Eh, eh. They're both silver, all right? The laptop's silver. This is silver, and this is silver. And this is that review. And I don't have anything else to say. Enjoying that darkness? We'll talk about that in a bit. Anyway, links to the Metrum. Links to the Mio. Links to the Mio on Mass Drop. If you have one... Look, if you have one or either of these things, and I'm sure at least five people have uh, something on this desk... Please chime in with your experiences and why you think this is... Because that's the thing. A lot of people are real zealots when it's their stuff. Haunting my dreams. And I want to know why I'm wrong. Why am I wrong? Why, why is saying that these are just... Not mediocre. It's probably a very exceptional thing. But I've heard a lot of exceptional things lately. And this is just... I mean, it's a DAC. It's... That's the full complement of what, of what it can do. And it does okay. It just does okay. It's just okay. And this is this is okay too. They're both a little bit too pricey for my liking. Now granted, made in the Netherlands. You're going to pay that extra. And I don't know where this is made. But it's beautifully made, wherever it's made. It's heavy. This is a, this is a, this is a piece. It has to be heavy. It's going to hold the fucking heat of the sun. So, duh. I'm gonna shut that off. I'm gonna shut. Well, I can't shut this off. And that's another thing. It's just it's on all the time. So if you want to shut it off, just feel free to unplug it. Wait about 25 minutes before you put it in your laptop bag, or you're gonna burn your house down. So yeah, that that's my that's my take on this. Get that creepy wallpaper in the description, and feel free to like just make it 60 by nine and have it creep on the side. Um, neither one of these is getting in the Patreon yard sale because both are sent to me by owners and it's just like, they're going back to their owners. So the Patreon will actually help to insure these and send them back via UPS. There are other things that are going to end up in the yard sale All those headphones and things I've already done behind me. So if you want to bid on those, feel free to jump in the $5 tier and then you can. There's also a $10 tier where if anybody wants to ask me about something, I'll usually take pictures of what I'm reviewing. And anybody in that $10 tier doesn't have to wait for the review. I will literally give them a review verbally through Telegram, like as soon as they ask, and everyone gets to share on that. So it's like, it's like just cut the line by like weeks, which is also fun. We also hang out and bullshit. Uh, so that's the, that, and you probably see this review about a week early, in case you know this was on your mind, just cut that week out. Um, other than that, I think we're done here. Yeah, wallpaper links, Patreon, the cooking channel exists. If you don't know about the cooking consortium, look for that. Search out Zeo's cooks. Z cooks. That's the thing. I actually cook. And um, yeah, I unbox things on other channels too. Anyway, I'm done here. We're done here. Thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Eh, with maybe more silver things. That's a silver thing. We'll see. <laughs>